The Gary Henderson Show is brought to you by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, Papa John's, Paul Miller Ford Mazda, P-Rats, Shelter Insurance, Specialty Foods Group, and by UK Healthcare. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another year of college baseball in Lexington, Kentucky, the home of the University of Kentucky Wildcats. I'm Brian Milam, joined by the coach of UK, Gary Henderson. Off to a pretty good start so far this year. Yeah, Brian, we are. Two and one in league, uh, 15 and five overall. We've got a great group of kids, and they've been fun to uh, uh, coach. The storyline earlier on this year, before the season began, the entire SEC rotation returned, which certainly opened up a lot of eyes. Right, I think any time you have two seniors get drafted and come back, it creates some attention. Uh, Kyle and uh, Dustin have both done a really good job of improving their pitches and improving their stuff, and uh, uh, it's been fun to be a part of their uh, improvement. So far this year, we've seen a new look offense a little bit, a faster team that's out there, and, and recently, uh, certainly the offense has shown up. <clears throat> Yeah, we're in a little bit of a good run right now. We'd like to maintain that and keep that going. Uh, we're seeing it well. We've got some extra base power that, that's uh, come forward, and that's been uh, nice to see. We do run a little bit better. You know, we're not going to lead the league in stolen bases, but we can steal a base. We can, uh, we can go first to third pretty well. We're scoring from second base. Uh, certainly run a little bit better than we did last year, and we got a little bit more effective lower half of the order. Who are some of the newcomers we've had this year that you've seen that, hey, this – Maybe not a surprise, but someone that is producing a little bit quicker than you thought. Well, I think anytime you bring a junior college kid in, you expect him to produce, but you, you never know, you know, what's going to happen. So Gunnar McNeil hitting in our four hole has been a really uh, uh, nice, pleasant surprise to see him come in and do kind of what we thought he would. And then uh, on the pitching end of it, having Sean Jelly be as effective as he's been uh, uh, out of the bullpen has been good. Justin Lewis redshirted last year. He's also been uh, very good for us. So those are three guys that you're really glad to see uh, take the step forward and be able to help us on the weekends. You lost game one to Georgia, but then rally back and really pound the baseball and get some good pitching efforts. We, uh, we played really well on Saturday and Sunday, and I was really glad to see it. You know, sometimes when you play, the breaks don't really go your game, and that was certain, or go your way, and that was certainly the case on Friday night. And we responded really well. Uh, aggressive, positive, uh, scored early in the games Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the gate really well on the mound as well, played solid defense uh, and was able to jump out and get a lead. When we come back here on the first Gary Henderson show of the 2016 baseball season, we will break down the Georgia game, show you all the highlights. That's next on the Gary Henderson show. At American Campus Communities, our mission is to make your experience at the University of Kentucky a success. The townhomes at Newtown Crossing, 524 and 525 Angliana, Newtown Crossing and Royal Lexington. You're going to love it here. Welcome back to the Gary Henderson Show. This past weekend, the Wildcats were in Athens, Georgia, and after dropping game one to the Bulldogs, the Wildcats bounced back Saturday and Sunday, and it's windy right now in Lexington. It was windy in Athens, especially on Sunday. Another breaking ball. That one gets by Weber, and that will allow the first run of the game to come home. Not a whole lot of catchers lead off either. Boy, that was pretty nasty pitch right there from Dustin Beggs. Gets the strike out of three pitches, two down. And we talked about the pitch ability. You've seen the breaking ball for a strike, but now he's going to find the good one for the swing and miss. And Stephen Wren is a polished hitter, veteran hitter in this league. A really good breaking ball there from Beggs. Keegan McGovern, the left fielder. First pitch swinging. High chopper out to Becker, and that's how you get it done right there. It's very difficult to combat that from time to time. That one's touched pretty deep to right. Is there enough room? No! Right over the 370 sign. Rex blasts one out of here. His first long ball of the year. And it is now a 3-1 to one game. Base hit right center. White. That'll play two Wildcats. 
Light will pick up. RBIs 21 and 22 on the year, and it's now a 5 to 1 Kentucky lead. And Beggs, who's thrown, I think, just to touch over 30 pitches so far, sitting in that Kentucky dugout. And that one gets away. Another miscue by the Dogs. Run scores. Shelby out to second. And it's 6 1. Pompey, the freshman out of Canada. Right past the diving glove of Mitchell Webb into left field and a leadoff single by Pompey. Beggs, you throw 87 to 90, and they just locate. Yeah. And he throws 87 over the first. <laughs> he gets did. out of the inning. Nice job. Youngster coming back home just a few miles away in Roswell, Georgia, getting it done. They went to Blakely Brown, and now Gist has the ball in his hands. Here's a chopper right back up the middle base hit for Mahan. And the leadoff man back on board again. That ball is launched deep to left. Out of here. Gunner McNeil with his fourth home run of the season. That'll quiet the crowd. A slow roller back up the middle again. Right center. Will that one get down? Nobody's going to catch it. Over the G. Ground rule double. Two RBI. And Kentucky is open up in a, opening up a can here in Athens. Throw over to first. The run will score. McNeil will touch home. So an RBI for Pompey. But when you get a guy like Beggs who throws like this, what's not to like? No, it's fun to watch. Yeah. Got the strikeout. Tipped into the glove of Cottom. That'll be out number two. His first swing of the year is a mm. chopper to third, scooped up by Shelby. Throw over to first, and that is two down. So after taking game two, it was on to the rubber match in game three, and the Cats start the sticks early with Gunnar McNeil in the first inning. They'll play him straight away on a one-two pitch, two down here in the top of the first. Slaps it. Right past Adam Sasser, down the line. White, chugging around third. Here he comes. The throw will go down to third, and an RBI double for McNeil, and Georgia just can't get him out. Talk about using the whole field. Wow. That'll do it. Three pitches. We'll send Curry to the dugout. Nothing on the board for the dogs, and the Cats lead it by one. Can you pick it up from a batter? Can you pick yeah, up you see the seams? Absolutely. Down the line of the left. Pompey took a bad angle, but still able to catch up to it. That ball's hit very, very Get you out of the slot. <laughs> a three-run blast off the bat of Shelby. Six hits in this series for McNeil. Make it seven. Wow. He went down their first baseline, his first at bat. He just sprays it all over the place. Impressive. Professional hitter right here. Nevertheless, a runner on third. Yeah. That is a fair ball base hit RBI. And he'll end up at second base, and Kentucky's lead is now 5-1. to one. Let's see what Shelby does here after going hitless until his last at bat this weekend. 
Hit that home run over the G in the left field and first pitch hits another rocket. Center field and this one bounces off the wall. One run is in. Two runs are in. Shelby on his way to third. I think it's safe to say that he is out of the funk. Blowing crisply to straightaway center field, buddy. That ball is touched. Is it enough? Wilson makes the catch at the wall. That ball's touched center field. Rin on the run. Can't catch up to it. One hops off the wall. And they will hold him up at second base. Boy, he was just gliding around the base pass. There's a glimpse of the future. Well, it's impressive because you're talking about a kid who's already got four home runs. Base hit back up the middle, and that will produce the run that Kentucky was looking for. Who's doing it in the pros? Pitcher on his own. He is red hot. Continues, slaps that one to left. It is out of here. What a day for Shelby. Under the guidance of Rod Delmonco. Ooh, line back to Lewis. Showing you some of that athleticism there, Dave. Make Richard Sherman proud. Yeah. Good snag, right? Good pick. No doubt. <laughs> Playing some serious defense right there. Heads up. I think he hit it off the end, which helped him out. Sasser caught that one towards the end. <laughs> that 6 6 frame tumbling backwards. Off of Moody's arm. He will go to first and throws it away. Moody's looking at that hand like that ball perhaps hit it as three runs come in. Showed us a really good sinker changeup mix. As we say that, Nichols lifts one up in the oh, air. Oh, what a catch by Carson. Covered a ton of ground to make the grab. So the Cats take two out of three from the Bulldogs. And then in the midweek game, it was the Moorhead State Eagles. We'll check out the highlights coming up next on the Gary Henderson Show. UK Athletics would like to thank our official Cornerstone partners. Central Bank, the official bank of UK Athletics. And Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. The midweek game for the Wildcats was against the defending Ohio Valley Conference champion, the Moorhead State Eagles. And when the Wildcats went to the plate at the bottom of the first, the offense picked up immediately. Mayhan a lefty. He's driven in nine this year. Base hit could score two. And he grounds this one sharply through the right side. Wilson will score. Scooped up by Schneider. He'll throw it to the plate. It is up the line at third. That allows White to slide in feet first. And Kentucky has a 2-0 lead. First and third. One out. The one strike pitch hammered into right field. A base knock. Mayhan comes home easily. And the lead grows to 3-0. Excuse me. Becker, this one's lined off the leg of Ellen Best. It kicks over to first. Carrera's there, but nobody's over at first to take the throw. McNeil comes in from third to score. So now Wright with first and second. A comebacker to the mound. Pops got it. He'll go to Mahan at second for one. Double clutches, but gets it out of the glove in time to fire to White. A check is second base. Pompey dancing out there. 1-1. One, one. Hammered down the line and right. That's going to get all the way into the corner. Pompey is going to score from second base. Standing up. It's an RBI double storm. Big pitch here for Dillon. 3-2. and two. Ripped it first. White snags the line drive. He'll tag first and he'll double off Kent. Double of the year. 1-0, a high lazy fly in right field. Schneider racing in, he misjudged it. McNeil is home, here comes Rex, and it's a 7-1 lead for Kentucky. First and third, three and one, hits this one high in the air. It's gonna hang up in that wind for Neiman. Starts out, now races back in, makes the grab. 
Rex is going to tag from third. He slides in safe at home. Three and two. He goes the other way. Can he drop it inside the line? He does. That's going to get Mahan home from second. And then on Sunday, bring the kids out for a UK team autograph after the game. This one sliced down the left field line. It's going to get past Neiman. He will put the brakes on and hightail it back to the bag. Runner at second, one out, and here's the pitch to him, and he swings and lines one into left center field, down for a base hit. That'll get Zach Rex around third and to the plate. Arnie with a big turn around the right corner with already two out. One and two, swing and a miss. Jelly gets a strikeout to end the game. Strikes out two in the ninth inning, and the Wildcats have won three consecutive games, posting a 10-5 victory tonight against Moorhead State. Get the best seat in the house by downloading the official UK Game Day app. The app gives you exclusive access to watch pregame and postgame events live, and it provides access to starting lineups. Download it today by searching Kentucky Game Day on your app store or Google Play. Thank you for staying with us this weekend on the Gary Henderson Show. Last weekend when the Cats went to Athens, Georgia, taking two out of three from the Bulldogs, it was a coming home party for a pair of Wildcats. Dustin Beggs moving to 5-0 and on the year, shutting down the Bulldogs on his Saturday start. But also for Justin Lewis, the tall, skinny right-hander did not get recruited by Georgia, and he got to go back home. And, well, we'll let you hear what he had to say. So it felt really good to stick it to him. I mean, you grow up going to all the games. It's only about 45 minutes from my hometown. So my dad would take me to the games. And you go, maybe I want to play here. But to beat them was awesome. Felt really good. I'm glad, I'm glad we did. The game at Georgia kind of woke me up a little bit more. Um, the first couple games were good. Uh, and then I kind of struggled with a little bit of location, command. Uh, I mean, traveling in the SEC is always a tough thing to do. So uh, that could have had a, a piece in it. So uh, I think moving forward, it was a good learning experience um, to hopefully continue winning. Um, but just having my defense back there has been probably the biggest thing, especially in the Georgia game. Uh, just bailing me out, making every play, and um, doing everything they can to help and support me. It, it felt great, to, uh, especially with friends and family, kids I went to high school with, all in the stands and attendance, and just going out and playing well and getting a team win. Nothing can ask for anything better than that. And also for Javon Shelby, he was hitless going into the third game of the series. But as you saw earlier in the show, Javon made up for it big time, hitting two homers and blasting his first triple of the season. I mean, it was about time. <laughs> I mean, because they had me the first two games. But uh, no, I just came down just slowing down. And uh, I mean, it showed in the game. Coach Ek got with me uh, before we started the game. And he was like, you need to slow down. And so uh, I took that in, I changed my approach a little bit, you know, just trying to flow middle and kind of flow to uh, right field and whatever they throw, you know, just hit it. And, um, I mean, that's one of the best, the best days I've had in a while. So the Cats were successful in their series with Georgia, taking two out of three, which would set up this weekend's matchup with Florida. And we'll talk about that in one week from today. When we come back, we've got much more on The Gary Henderson Show. The balls were flying out of Foley Field last weekend as the Cats played long ball with the Georgia Bulldogs. Cold to combat that from time to time. That one's touched pretty deep to right. Is there enough room? No! Right over the 370 sign. Rex blasts one out of here. That ball is launched deep to left. Out of here. Gunner McNeil with his fourth home run of the season. That ball's hit very, very hard. Mm. That'll get you out of the slot. <laughs> he is red hot. Continues, slaps that one to left. It is out of here. What a day for Shelby. That will do it for this edition of the Gary Henderson Show. Next week, we will recap the Florida series because the Gators were the number one team in America coming into Lexington. Until next time, I'm Brian Milam. We'll see you next week on the Gary Henderson Show. Play ball! The Gary Henderson Show was brought to you by 
the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, Papa John's, Paul Miller Ford Mazda, p -Rats, Shelter Insurance, Specialty Foods Group, and by UK Healthcare.